Well, as it turns out, I do have a little thing for you. Ooh. A little gift, if you will. Oh, my. You know, we didn't do a who's the fake fan question for this last episode. Uh -huh. So I've got a little game for you to play called Name That Tune 2022 Games. Okay. As we talked, <laughs> so as you know, a lot of games came out this year. And I've taken some of the biggest games and I've made a long playlist of themes from games that came out in 2022. Now, some of these are the main theme of the game, and others are like the the theme of the starting area of the game. So I try to make them as conducive to the identity of the title as possible, right? Okay. You're not going to get some weird mini game music okay. from God of War and be like, "What the heck is this from?" <laughs> you know, like this is this is going to be like mostly main themes. Okay. Now I have a lot on this playlist, and I don't think we're going to get through all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shuffle, and any one of these games could appear on the list. And if you know it right away, give it a few seconds to breathe a bit just so our listeners can listen and hopefully guess as well. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. So I do have a cheat sheet for you. Let me share it with you and tell me if you can see this. Yes. All righty. So this is a little splash page of all the games that are on this playlist. So some of them you're more familiar with, others you might not be, but I feel like you are savvy enough with video games that you can piece together what genre, you know, what each piece could fit with. And you'll sure. notice on this page, there are a few things where I cheated a bit, like Persona 5 Royal did not come out this year, but it was given a broad release this year on multiple consoles, which had never happened before. Um, and then there's one or two other things on here, but th for the most part, these are all big releases from 2022. And I'll just edit in here that if you are a podcast-only listener, feel free to click on the video link in the description if you'd like a visual aid to help you guess. Good luck. You ready? Yes. Awesome. I believe in you. Let's see how this goes. Number one. Oh man. Okay. I definitely have not heard this before. So that X's out half of these options. Uh-huh. There was a bit of sci-fi in there. I don't actually know what a plague tale is. So th that that one's going to be difficult to get. Um Is that your final answer for this one? Should it or be? Or are you going <laughs> to Just tell me when you're locked in and I'll tell you if you're right or not. Okay. I also don't know much about the music of Stray, so I see that being a wild card in here. I'm going to guess, because it has kind of a, a futuristic and yet some older instruments, I'm going to go Horizon Forbidden West. That is correct. Yes. Well done. Yeah, I was hoping just with the instrumentation, you could kind of... Also has the female voice. I almost went for God of War, but then I heard some more synth, so... Absolutely. Yeah, no, your instincts were correct. Well done. All right, here's number two. This one is Tunic. Correct. So vibey. Helps that you played it. Yeah, this is my favorite theme from the game. Oh, really? Yeah, th this is one where I could listen to it on loop and enjoy it. The rest of them are really creepy and unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there are a few relaxing tracks out there for Tunic. True. It's a very lo-fi kind of inspired synthy uh, fun romp. So you're two for two. Well done. Here's number three.
guesses. Um. Ah, uh, another another one I definitely have not played. I'm going either between Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak or God of War Ragnarok. Um, I don't know what the theme of God of War Ragnarok is, but I feel like it should be more motivic than this. Like, I feel like it would be even bigger or, like, even more iconic than this. Just because, I don't know, like, I'm not hearing anything distinct. I'm going to go Monster Hunter Rise. That is incorrect. This is Elden Ring's the main theme. Oh, really? I did... I did consider it might be Elden Ring very briefly, but then I was like, nah, it would have it would have popped out to me. I, I agree with you. I think again, your instincts are right on the money. I, I think God of War is more motivic and has a, a main theme that you can recognize instantly. Elden Ring doesn't really it's not really a theme you can pick up on right away. Mm-hmm. It's more of a I don't know, it only really plays on the title screen too. So it's not that memorable. Yeah, it's not that memorable. You also have to wait for it to get into that stuff. And who just like waits on the start screen, you know? Right. But no, I'm I'm not going to. I should have gotten that one. <laughs> no, it's hey, you're still doing great so far. Here's number four. Okay, um, this could be Stray, but also with a game like Ghostwire Tokyo, this is a little ghosty, too. But I know that Stray takes place in a sci-fi world. I'm gonna go with Stray. Correct. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Like I said, see, you don't even have to play these games. You just get them. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. I'm getting uh, Nintendo, perhaps. Either Sonic or Nintendo. Um, the piano harkens to uh, Breath of the Wild, so that makes me feel like it might be Arceus, kind of trying to evoke that feel. I remember Arceus having some piano-y things in there. Is Melody going to kick in? What? <laughs> Too sad to be Kirby and the Forgotten Land. <laughs> You're right. I don't think this would fit Kirby very well. All right. What, what do you think? I don't know, man. Arceus? Is that your final answer? I guess. Correct. <laughs> but I did like that you mentioned Sonic Frontiers because that one's also... Open you world. You could argue very Breath of the... No, well, specifically Breath of the Wild inspired, right? Oh, With sure, sure, sure. Green hills and open world in front of you kind of thing. But yeah, that was Arceus. Really liked that game. I need to, I need to finish that one. You I, really I liked it, but you didn't it. mention it on your honorable mentions or top I didn't. five. I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, Fake fan. Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> wow. I Pokemon's not my thing. But Arceus got very close to recapturing me, though. So, anyway... All right, here's the next one. Interesting. Okay, it's got like the drum and bass drum line. Like kind of trappish almost. 
Mm -hmm. which makes me think quick game makes me think maybe this is neon white i'm also hearing synths which i associate with like cult of the lamb almost but this is too quick to be yeah no neon white correct i went once i heard the remixed voices i was like the only one of these has the attitude to do that yeah i mean th th it's hot topic the game right like it's <laughs> yes, it's, so it's about edgy. playing playing as demons with kabuki masks in heaven. It's a good time though. You should try it. It's it's very different than pretty much anything else on this list. Dude, at this point, tell I think we should just like do all of them. This is fun. You think so? You think we should just get through the whole list? Well, let's at least keep going. Hey, if you're having fun, let's keep going. Why not? Okay, I don't recognize it per se, but I think this is Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Am I wrong? Correct. Oh. You took so long to say correct. <laughs> Self-doubt immediately took over. Well, <laughs> what would have been your second guess? I mean, Kirby and the Forgotten Land or Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Wait. That helps. Yes, it does. So I'm glad you guessed it beforehand. All right, good job. I know you love your melodica, so I had to. Well, I, this I one. think it's. Is there a melodic? It might be accordion. It could be. But, man, um, at first I was going to say Fire Emblem Warriors because of accordion. But the singing makes me just have to guess. Just it, It's got to be Persona 5 Royal, right? Is that your final answer? Yes. This is Bayonetta 3, Oh, actually. of course, of course. Ah. But, I mean, you know, it's it's. I'd say it's very similar to Fire Emblem or Persona in its big spectacle you know yeah i also don't think i've ever heard bayonetta music besides like maybe in the background of a stage in smash bros <laughs> sure. so i didn't have a lot to go off of but i i think i could have got that excuses Shoot. excuses marcus not just kidding you're doing great you've been getting most of these so uh i don't feel bad for having a, a couple hard ones on here also you're eliminating them one by one yeah. so uh -huh. it's just gonna kind of <laughs> narrow down all right here's the next one Welcome to the elevator. <laughs> it's got funky bass and road piano. So, uh, Persona 5 for this one? Yes. No, I think the main theme of that game is too iconic. Um, I think yeah. you would have got it too fast. I mean, you still got it real fast. This is the main menu music. Gotcha. All right. Moving on. If it's not God of War, I will eat my socks. Get ready to eat your socks, Marcus. Oh, really? This is God of War. No, you got it. You can't keep doing this. <laughs> I want to remind everyone that this song you're listening to right now was composed by a man named Bear. Important. Important to know. Yes, very cinematic, very powerful. It's no wonder they hired him for the, the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. He's got a handle on motifs. He's got a handle on big, powerful brass. Works great. And with that, we're moving on. <laughs> See, that's that is what I expected from God of War. For sure. Follow me. I'm standing on the border of everything. Listen close. 
Obviously, I've never heard this before. Um, it might be Call of Duty, but I don't know if they do lyrical stuff in their games. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's the... That's probably not the vibe of Call of Duty nowadays. And this this is very, like... I don't know. It's kind of Japanese rock. So I think I'll go Xenobeat Qu- Chronicles 3. Final answer? Yeah. No. This is Sonic Frontiers, actually. Uh should have known it's so quick most sonic games have a, a lyrical song as their main theme which is kind of interesting they have a an interesting history when it comes to music i think even the bad sonic games most people agree the music's really good okay next I don't think it's even worth you guessing. Like, obviously, we know this is Marvel Snap. Uh huh. Uh huh. Obviously. <laughs> I was leaning towards Splatoon three, but that's a good guess too. No, what what I'm leaning towards here is a Plague Tale. I know nothing about it, but with the name that includes Tale Requiem at the end of it, this very this feels very Requiem esque. <laughs> but it could also be Fire Emblem Warriors. A Warriors game would not have this be its main theme. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, I don't know the vibe of that Monster Hunter game. I don't know if it would be this tranquil. But I don't think it's like Ghostwire. Gotta lock in a guess. The song's almost over. I'm gonna say A Plague Tale Requiem. That is incorrect. <sighs> this is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wow, I didn't even mention it. Oh, I did like how you walked through your logic, though, because Monster Hunter actually has kind of an Asian... It, Monster Hunter Rise, specifically, has a, kind of an old Japanese, I think, Edo period kind of inspiration. So this could kind of fit that. But yeah, that's Xenoblade Chronicles 3. No worries, I'm sure you'll get the rest of these. <laughs> you say that, but I think that every... I'm, I'm actually doing a bit worse, and it's because I've already gone through these logic trails, and I forget which ones were incorrect well, logic you've trails. You've narrowed down most of them, so I think I think that there's so few options. I feel like you're going to get most of these, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ba-na-na-na. Okay, that was actually hard for me, but I think it's Kirby and the Forgotten Land. That is correct. I almost guessed Pokemon, but then I was like, no, I recognize this, and I have not played Pokemon. Right. Well done. Okay, here's the next one. And there are no duplicates on here? Duplicates? Never mind. This is Pokemon. Oh, no. No, no. There's no duplicates. Pokemon what? Of the Scarlet or Violet variety. Well, which one? Scarlet or Violet? Scarlet. Ooh, I'm afraid. You suck. Yeah, it is, but <laughs> I don't care. Wait, <laughs> that Scarlet was right? and Violet. Oh, yes, wow. it is All Scarlet right. and Violet. Yeah, good All job. Right. It's kind of interesting that one played right after Kirby. I didn't expect it to on Shuffle. Um, they sound really similar, except you recognized Kirby, right? They, they... Exactly. Well, that's that's why I asked at the beginning. Why I asked was, are there any duplicates? Because I was like, 
if you have any repeats, then this could be Kirby Forgotten Land. Right. I couldn't find like the starting area theme, unfortunately. It's been kind of hard to find the, the soundtrack for that game. So this is uh, one of the rival battles at the very start. Uh, the main theme is just the Pokemon theme, so that would have been too easy. Anyway, here's the next. I like it. I know that much. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, that sort of Middle Eastern reeded instrument sound. Um, hey, can you tell me what Plague Tale is about just on the side real quick? Because I keep on looking at that one and I have no clue what it is. You don't know anything about a Plague Tale? I, n- I know nothing. Uh, there's a lot of rats in it. That's about all I can tell you. It's not helpful. <laughs> Plague Tale games are... I don't know how much I want to give you, because there's only a couple left on this list. Um, my understanding is it's an action-adventure with a lot of stealth, and you can possess the ability to control rats, and you can make rats do your bidding. And there's their, their big claim to fame is how good it looks to see waves of rats just you know animate all over the world sure. throughout that game. Interesting. That's about all I can tell you uh, for Plague Tale. Because this could be Monster Hunter Rise, but it could be Fire Emblem Warrior. No, it couldn't be. It couldn't be Fire Emblem Warriors. This is too dope for a Warriors game. Wow. Unless... Lock it in, Marcus. What is it? Ah! <laughs> I don't like being wrong. Too bad. Pick one. A Plague Tale Requiem? Incorrect. This is Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Ah! Which, again, is not... Rise did not come out this year, but Sunbreak did, so it's on the list. And the next... I feel like this could be Gotham Knights or Ghostwire, but I'm going to let it play a bit longer. Okay. gonna go with Gotham Knights you know similar vibe but this is actually Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 another one I did not even mention all right next one (laughs) I I was like yeah this is like a heroic something I just didn't look at Call of Duty Okay, that sounds heroic. That's got to be Gotham Knights. Correct. A little more superhero-ish. Yeah, more horns. But it does have that, you know, shooter. They like to play and Overwatch and Call of Duty game soundtracks. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if I'm going to play Gotham Knights. It looks kind of interesting. I feel like I need to play the Arkham games, though, uh, first. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Let's move on to the next one.
Interesting. Um, so I still have Ghostwire, Plague Tale, Cult of the Lamb. It's not Cult of the Lamb. I would assume Ghostwire Tokyo would do something a little more... Tokyo. Huh. So either Ghostwire or Plague Tale. I don't know anything about Ghostwire. Is this Ghostwire? Is that your final answer? Yeah. This is Ghostwire Tokyo. What do you do in that game? You know, this is another one where I don't really understand. I played a few minutes of it. Uh, it's a first-person shooter in a modern setting, Tokyo. But you have, like, ancient magical kabuki powers. Huh. Uh, so it's not. It's a first-person shooter where you don't use guns. You use, like, magic. Gotcha. So, yeah, interesting. Kind of a it's pretty weird title, but it was a big release this year. So here's the next one. Now that's a requiem. Is it? Textbook definition of requiem. This is a Plague Tale requiem. This is actually Fire Emblem Warriors. Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. It's Plague Tale. Good job. Jared, stop that. <laughs> that's like the fifth time you've done that. And I trust it's you. It's funny. Every I time. I trust you. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a I requiem. I can't trust you anymore. Plague Tale Requiem is actually a sequel. First game was called A Plague Tale Innocence. But, yeah, boy, A Plague Tale is the gift that kept on giving, because you guessed it like four times I before this one. I hate that with a generic <laughs> name like A Plague Tale, like it doesn't even have a location like Ghostwire Tokyo. What do you mean generic? A Plague Tale is... It's not generic, I mean, what but I'm saying like... It's called there A Plague was, Tale. Uh, I don't know. It was too mysterious. Hey, what matters is you got it right, right? Eventually. Okay, I will, I'll stop... Um, giving you the second guess jokes because right. we only have a couple left so three more I do not recognize it but I also usually play Marvel Snap without volume on is this Marvel Snap yes I never play with volume on either so I wouldn't know as well but yeah, this is Marvel Snap. Kind of weird, actually. Not what I'd expect a game called Marvel Snap to have I mean, the main theme, it, but whatever. I, I hear some app game vibes in there. <laughs> sure. I guess it's more app game than Marvel, which is what Marvel Snap is. So, Okay, two more. No, I think there are three more. Oh, yes, you're right. All right. Fire Emblem Warriors Three Houses. It is not Fire Emblem Warriors Three Houses, but it is Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Oh, really? Oh, my eyesight is bad, but also the background in which you put this image. Look at that, Jared. I just see H-O something something E-S. It's Hopes. <laughs> yeah, but, but the P is like... a blending in it's like a yeah, different yeah blame the graphic yeah all right here's the next one <laughs> call of duty modern <laughs> just joking some of these i wish appeared earlier on the list so you could well now that I mean, could be anything obvious, but... splatoon 3 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes good job are you, are you going to find a, one to throw me off? No, 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 no. It'd be funny. It, that would also be funny. i play something that's not on the list. I would go crazy. Great idea, Marcus. Cult of the Lamb. Correct. Haven't played that one, but I really, really like this theme. Kind of ethereal, weird, synthy. Well, I wasn't keeping track. Maybe I should have written down all the ones you got correct, but I'm pretty sure it was the majority of them. So 
Good job. You are not a fake fan of Hooray! 2022 games, Marcus. I, I bet we could figure out how many I got right. I think I got five wrong. Five out of 23 wrong? That's really, really good. Super good. Well, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for doing this with me. Are you opposed to doing more Name That Tunes in the future? Of course not. That was uh, very entertaining. I enjoyed that. It was very entertaining to watch you squirm. That's my favorite <laughs> part about these fake fan qu uh, contests. I, I I will squirm anytime if it means hey, listening to Hey, you're cool welcome music. to make me squirm too. If you want to put together a little Name That Tune for me and play it for a an episode on the show, a little bonus episode, that'd be awesome be fun to do like a name that tune but only games that i know you haven't played yeah again it's fun to logic your way into it if it's not something you're familiar with so give yourself more credit you know you seem, you seem to be more aware of games besides plague tale i think you knew what everything on this list mostly was. i didn't know I what ghost wire well. was yeah but you know everything call, else. call of duty that's like a dating sim right <laughs> yeah very fun and if any of you listeners scored better than Marcus, be sure to let us know at LVL with us on Twitter or email us at levelwithuspodcast at gmail.com. Love you, Marcus. Love you, listeners. Love you, Jerry. We'll see you next time. Bye.